The Queen of Swords rules the watery part of air, and in particular the 21st degree of Virgo to the 20th degree of Libra. She represents the elasticity of that element, which is air, and its power of transmission. In the figure we see her upper body is naked, um, but she's wearing a belt and a sarong. Um, it looks like a skirt here. Um, the sarong is ev evident of some kind of oriental influence here. On her head, she's crested by a child with sharp eyes, which illumine her empire of celestial dew. Dew is the idea of, uh, of things manifesting down from heaven. Um, the throne, we can't act, the throne is actually a cloud. Um, we don't really see the throne at all, so she's sitting on the clouds in the air, and this is very much to do with the watery part of air. Uh, the water manifesting there is, of course, through clouds. The symbols that she has, in the right hand she has a sword held down, um, she's sort of cutting through ignorance and things like this, and in her left hand she has the newly severed head of a bearded man. Quite who the bearded man is, as we're not sure, but it may well be to do with Adam Cadmon or something like this, because he, uh, that's the, uh, how in the Judaic tradition the uh, God is sometimes seen. So she's, she's, she's clearly severing some kind of thing to do with the intellect. Um, Crowley describes her as, as to do with idea. She is the clear conscious perception of idea, the liberator of the mind. Now with the Queen of Cups we saw that she is very much this idea of uh, the transcendent self who is reflective on all that she sees and we don't really see her face so this is, this is beyond the mind. And um, the Princess of Swords, sorry the Prince of Swords is, represents the idea of mind and its scattering qualities uh, where there's random thoughts and ideas coming on, it's untangible and it's going in all kinds of directions. But with the, more, with the water and emotions and the feelings, the mind settles down and becomes calm. Who does this person represent? Crowley says this person would be intensely perceptive, a keen observer, a subtle interpreter, an intense individualist, swift and accurate at recording ideas in action. This idea reminds me very much of Tai Chi, where the, where the mind movements are calm and controlled. On the other hand, of course, um, there's the other side to her, and she can be untrustworthy, sly, cruel, deceitful, and unreliable. And she's very dangerous, because of course we've no idea what she's going to do next. So she can appear beauty, but underneath this is kind of tortured soul in there that's full of anguish and sorrow. There is an outcome to this card as well. Um, and it may well be that the uh, this there's love coming from it and devotion coming from the most unexpected of corners. It could be for a woman that the uh, the man she just thought of a friend he's been harboring these intense desires for her that she never realised.